In this video, I'm going to show you how to get general MIDI sound with sound fonts working in DOSBox. General MIDI is a music format developed back in 91 for professional musicians to be able to write music and play it back with any synthesizer. It quickly became the standard high-end music format on PC. General MIDI doesn't actually send any sound, leaving it up to the other hardware to play it back. On modern Windows PCs, the standard MIDI synthesizer is the Microsoft GS Wavetable Synthesizer, which uses PCM samples recorded from a real synthesizer to generate the music. As you heard, its sound quality is notoriously poor. But there are ways to get better general MIDI music. The first is to hook up an external synthesizer module to your computer. The second is to install a software synthesizer. If you install a software synthesizer such as Virtual MIDI Synth, you can use sound fonts to change the samples used to better quality ones. To get virtual MIDI synth, you should first go to the CoolSoft website. The download link is all the way at the bottom of the page. You'll need sound fonts to make it work, and the website has links to various sound fonts here. Hit plus. Then you can select a sound font you want to use. 
I'm choosing a better Roland Sound Canvas font than the built-in window synth. In Windows 7 or below, you can change the default MIDI mapper, but in Windows 8 Plus, you'll have to download the MIDI mapper through the link there if you want that functionality. Go to MIDI, hit select MIDI device, choose virtual MIDI synth from the list. First start your setup program. Select General MIDI, and then select 330 for your port number if that option shows up. You can also set up additional MIDI drivers so you can have multiple sound font sets available. Go to Options and change the number of devices. Here, I'm going to set up an Auth32 sound font. Now, you can select the other virtual MIDI synth device.
Here's a list of some recommended sound fonts that you should check out. If you want a sound font that sounds the closest to what the original musicians back in the 90s intended, you should check out the Roland SC55 version 1.1 sound font. It's the same basic set of sounds as in the Microsoft one, but with better quality. An AW32 sound font is good if you want to hear what games sounded like for those of us who didn't want to mess with external modules or extra cards taking up slots. Timbers of Heaven is a really good sound font, even though it can be a little on the loud side. Giant sound font is really big, but it's got some really good samples and a great drum kit. Finally, there's my personal recommendation, Musin Kite. It's ludicrously large, but it sounds incredible, and you can always pair it with the drum kit from Giant Sound Font to make it even better. See you in part three of this series, where I'll discuss the Gravis Ultrasound.